Hey guys, welcome to Improve Math. Today we're going to talk about long division. Long division is used when dividing large numbers or numbers that are outside of the standard division table. You know, the ones that you already have memorized. Long division is no different than short division. You basically just have more digits. The key to long division is just to break the problem down into smaller steps by looking at it digit by digit. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at all the components that make up a long division problem. Here we have an example of what a long division problem could look like. 945 divided by 9. This can be written in multiple ways, but they all mean the same thing. What we're going to do now is rewrite this problem into a format that allows us to tackle this problem digit by digit. A standard long division problem has three components. Most problems will have a divisor, the number to the left of the division sign, a dividend, the number to the right of the division sign, and a quotient, which is simply our answer. Sometimes your divisor will not go into the dividend an exact number of times. You will have an amount left over. That amount is called the remainder, and your remainder is the amount that is left over once you have completed all the long division steps and cannot go any further. This video is focused on long division without a remainder. Let's master this first, and then we can move on to long division with the remainder. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a marker, and let's jump into some long division. Before we get started with our first problem, let's talk about the steps involved in long division. Long division has four steps, which we will repeat until we have our answer. Those steps are divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. I like to give students a way to remember these steps, so think about this. Dirty, monkeys, smell, bad. As you work through more long division problems, you will eventually memorize those steps, and if you think about how dirty monkeys smell bad, it will help you remember. In the meantime, I will keep these steps on the screen so we can look at them as we go. So let's move on to our first example. 745 divided by 5. First, let's rewrite this equation for long division to be stated as 745 divided by 5. Now let's go to our steps. We will be doing these steps for each one of our digits in the math equation. We will start with the 7 in our dividend, complete the steps, and move on to 4. Once we have completed all the steps for the 4, we will then move on to 5. Let's get started. Step 1. Divide. I want you to think about how many times 5 goes into 7. From our division tables, we know that 5 goes into 7 one time. We are now going to write 1 over top of the 7 to indicate that 5 goes into 7 one time. Step 2. Multiply. Still looking at the 1 on top of our 7, we are now going to multiply 1 times 5, which is going to give us 5. We are going to write that 5 directly below our 7. Step 3. Subtract. We will now subtract the 5 from the 7 to get a difference of 2. We know that 5 cannot go into 2, so now we move on to our final step. Step 4. Bring down. We will now bring down the 4 digit next to our 2 to make the number 24. We have now completed the first series of 4 steps. Let's repeat them again. Step 1. Divide. How many times does 5 go into 24? Well, we know that 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 5 is 25, so the answer would be 4. Let's put the 4 over top of our 4 in the dividend. Step 2. Multiply. We will now multiply the 4 times our 5 to get an answer of 20. Step 3. Subtract. If we subtract 20 from 24, it leaves us with 4. Step 4. Bring down. Let's now bring down the 5 next to our 4, and we have a number of 45. We're almost there. Let's repeat these steps one final time. Step 1. Divide. How many times does 5 go into 45? From our division tables, we know 5 goes into 45 nine times. Step 2. Multiply. If we multiply 9 times 5, our answer is 45. Step 3. Subtract. We then subtract 45 from 45 
and it leaves us with zero. Since there are no more digits left in our division equation, we're done. That's it, you guys. You did it. That is long division without a remainder. I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know how to check your long division equations to make sure you're right, watch my video on how to double check your long division answer. Thanks for watching.